Hi, and welcome to our instructional video that is designed to make you a smarter gambler. My name is Steve Borey, and I'm the author of the American Casino Guide, which is the number one best-selling book in the U.S. on the subject of casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with more than $1,000 in casino coupons. If you want to know more about the book, be sure to visit our website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. And if you have an iPhone or iPad, be sure to download our free app. Just go to the App Store and search for American Casino Guide. In this video, syndicated gaming writer John Grahowski, who is also the author of six books on casino gambling, gives details on the five best bets that can be made in the game of craps. And now, here's John Grahowski. When we talk about the best bets in craps, we're really talking about the best commonly available bets. Sometimes somebody will offer a bet that's better than some of the ones that were listed here. There, there was a time, for example, that I saw a casino that on the field paid 3 to 1 on both 2 and 12, which is a no house edge bet. I've never seen it again, but we're, we're not going to list bets like that. They're just available short term at one or two places. We're talking about the best commonly available bets and craps, and the best commonly available bets and craps are all multi-roll bets. If it's a, the bet is decided in one roll, it's probably going to have a higher house edge than some of these. So with that little bit of a warning here, the number five best bet in craps is buying the four or buying the ten. They work just like place bets. So the buy bet means that you are betting that your number will be rolled by the shooter before the shooter rolls a seven. And normally, you would not want to place the four or the ten. It's a bad bet with a house edge of 6.67%. But buy bets are an opportunity. You give the house a 5% commission in exchange for getting paid at true odds if you win. In this case, it would be a two to one payoff on four or ten. On other place bets, we don't look at paying that 5% commission because the house edge already is lower than 5%. It makes no sense to pay a 5% commission when you're already getting a better deal than that. However, buying the 4 or 10 with that 6.67% house edge, it does lower the house edge, not really enough if the house is collecting a commission on every bet. It lowers it then only to 4%. That's still too high in my book. I want to talk about bets here with house edges of 2% or lower. If the house takes the commission only on winning bets, then buying the 4 or the 10 has a house edge that's all the way down to 1.67%. That's under 2%. It's one of the better bets in the casino, and it is number 5 on our list of the best craps bets. Number 4 on our list of the best craps bets is placing the 6 or placing the 8. And these are among the most commonly made bets at craps. You are betting that the shooter will roll a 6 or roll an 8 before he rolls a 7. Now, in craps, Sixes and eights are the second most commonly rolled numbers. Seven is the most commonly rolled number. There are six ways to roll a seven. There are five ways to roll a six. There are five ways to roll an eight. So the odds are six to five against your place bet winning. The house pays you seven to six. That's not quite true odds, but it's not bad. It's a house edge of 1.52%, making placing the six or placing the eight number four on our list of best craps bets. Number three on our list of best casino bets are pass and come. We're going to group them together. They're really the same bet. They're just made at different times. In the case of the pass line bet, the sequence starts with a come out roll. On the come out roll, if the shooter rolls a seven or an 11, you win. If the shooter rolls a two, three, or a 12, that's craps and you lose. There are eight ways to win, four ways to lose. So the shooter, the, the, the better who bets the pass line, has the edge on the come out roll. If any number, other number is rolled, the four, five, or six, or the eight, nine, or 10, that becomes the point number. And what you are rooting for the shooter to do is to roll that point number again before he rolls a seven. If he does roll the point number again, then you win. If the shooter rolls a seven first before rolling the point number, then you lose. The overall house edge on this is 1.41%, one of the better bets in the casino. Come bets work exactly the same way, except that you don't have to wait for it to be a come out roll. You can make the come bet on any roll. It's just that the first roll becomes the equivalent of a come out roll for your bet. So at 1.41%, pass and come are the third best bets at the craps table. Number two on our list of best casino bets 
is don't pass and don't come. In essence, you're betting against the shooter in this one. You're betting against the shooter making a point number. On the come out roll, if the shooter rolls a 2 or a 3, you win. If the shooter rolls a 12, you push, and that's important because that's where the house edge comes from. If the shooter rolls a 7 or an 11, you lose. So all that's kind of the opposite of the pass line bet, except for that little provision about the uh, 12 and the push instead of, uh, instead of a win or a loss. If any other number is rolled, that becomes the point number, just like on pass and come, except here you win if the shooter rolls a 7 first. If the shooter rolls a 7, you win. If the shooter rolls the point number before rolling a 7, then you lose. Don't come is the same as don't pass, except the sequence doesn't start on the come out roll. Whatever the next roll is becomes the equivalent of the come out for your don't pass bet. The house edge here is only 1.36%. So that's one of the better bets in the, uh, in the casino. It's better than the pass line by a, you know, a few tenths, a few hundredths of a percent. Still, most players really prefer to make pass and come bets because they're betting with the shooter, they're, they're playing together, there's the camaraderie at the craps table. When you hear a big cheer coming from the area of the craps table, chances are the shooter has just made a point. The don't pass and don't come betters, there are fewer of them. They're kind of playing on their own. They're getting a marginally better deal than on pass and come, but the camaraderie aspect isn't as much a part of the game for them. Nonetheless, with a 1.36% house edge, don't pass or don't come is the second best bet at the craps table. And the best bet at the craps table is one you can't really make unless you're betting pass or don't pass or come or don't come, and that's the free odds. The free odds enable you to back your pass or come bet or your don't pass or don't come bet with a second wager that is paid at true odds. For example, if you are betting on pass and the point number is 6, then the odds against the shooter rolling a 6 before he rolls a 7 are 6 to 5. So your winning free odds bet that's backing your pass line wager would be paid at 6 to 5 odds. If you're betting the don't pass side, then it's kind of the opposite. It's said that you're laying the odds. You're spotting the house the 6 to 5 odds instead. So you are betting $6 to win $5 instead of $5 to win $6, if you're, we're talking in terms of approximately $5 bets. What the combination of the pass line plus free odds does, or the don't pass and laying the odds, is that it lowers the overall house edge on the combination. With the pass line, your basic uh, house edge is 1.41% on the house edge. If you get single odds, which means that you are betting the same amount on free odds as you are on the pass line, that lowers the house edge on the combination to 0.8%. At double odds, where you're betting double in free odds, which you did on the pass line, that house edge on the combination drops all the way to 0.6%. At 10 times odds, if you're permitted to bet 10 times the amount as you had on the pass line, that drops all the way to 0.2%. And at 100 times odds, and some casinos do offer 100 times odds, that drops to 0.02%. Uh, it's practically no house edge at all. Actually, you, there's always a house edge on the amount that you have on the pass line. But the free odds themselves have no house edge. You are being paid at true odds. What this means for the better is that your best play, if you can afford to make the free odds, is to bet the table minimum on the pass line and then make up the rest of your normal betting amount in the free odds. You want most of your wager at the point where the, there's the least house edge, and that's the 0% house edge on the free odds. So the free odds are as good a deal as you're going to get in the casino. On the don't side, laying the odds leaves you with a slightly lower house edge with don't pass plus laying the odds, then with pass plus odds, just as the don't pass house edge is slightly lower than the pass house edge. It drops from 1.36% for the don't pass by itself to 0.7% when you lay single odds, 0.5% with double odds, 0.1% with 10 times odds, 0.01% with 100 times odds. Again, that's a very, very minimal house edge if you are able to make larger odds bets. You know, that, that for the high rollers, this is a very, very low house edge proposition indeed. And for that reason, 
the odds, whether you're taking the odds or laying the odds, is the best bet at the craps table. If you want to know more about me and my work, you can look for me at CasinoAnswerMan.com in a variety of magazines, including Strictly Slots, Casino Player, Midwest Gaming and Travel, Southern Gaming and Destinations, online at Casino City Times, and of course, every year in the American Casino Guide. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.